Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with interesting, relaxing and quick questions. And today we have at this question we have 8 divided by 4 and in parentheses 1 plus 3. So on the first side this is like very easy question, so everyone can handle this question, we have only division, multiplication and addition, so everyone learns this stuff in this in the third grade, everyone know about this operation, so everyone know about this number, this is not like a huge number, it's complicated expression, so everyone know about it, but uh, this is where it took a question and uh, here's my question what is the correct answer to this problem right here we have three options so a b and c so right now i suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself what do you think is the correct answer and in the end of the video i will check our answers it will be it will be really interesting so first of all i wanted to mm, start to solve this right here we have our question i just wanted to rewrite it we have a divided by four and in parentheses we have one win one plus three okay so here's our here, here's our question yeah and what is the first way to solve this question for example one one part of students solve it like that. They say, okay, let's start from division right here, then we multiply right here, multiplication, and the last step, addition in parentheses. Okay, this is the last step. Another part of students say, okay, I want to start from multiplication maybe, then division, then parentheses. The next part of students say, okay, I want to start from parentheses, then for example, multiplication and division. And a lot of these combination, but in math, we need to know what is the one and only one correct order of operation. We need to know, we need to solve it correctly, because obviously right here whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right so we need to understand what is the one and only one correct order for example right here we have for example eight right here we have one half right here we have four in this uh, order of operation and this is not this is not correct to solve it in in three ways we need to know what is one and only one correct order of operation and for this question i want you to look at this pmdmc order of operation this is the most popular order of operation in the world all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PIMDMC. And I want to solve it according to PIMDMC. I know about a different order of operation. I know about it and I respect it. I don't want to tell that in, according to PIMDMC this is 100% correct answer, but I prefer this order of operation because maybe all internet libraries solve it according to PIMDMC. And I respect it. I prefer this one. Okay, let's try to solve it. First of all, I wanted to read this question right here. So we have 8 divided by 4 and in parentheses we have 1 plus 3. So here is our question and let's look at it. This PIMDMC works from the top to the bottom and let's look what is the first step from, from uh, in this PIMDMC order of operation. The first step is parentheses, yeah? Let's look at it. Where do we have this parentheses right here? Let's look at it. Yeah, we have parentheses right here, which is, which is really great for us, okay? So we have parentheses and we need to start from this parentheses. Let's look at it. 1 plus 3 equal to 4, everyone know about it. Let's, let's write this. We have 8 divided by 4 and in parentheses we have times times 4 okay so we have right now right now this expression okay let's go to the next step the next step according to pmdmc is exponents exponents let's look at it i don't see any exponents we don't have any any powers right here so we just we just skip this part we, we don't need it because we don't have it okay so i just skip this part and i just want to write this question right here on the top so we have 8 divided by 4 and times 4 right now so we have this expression and uh people all over the world have a lot of discussion about this because right here we have division multiplication and other part of students say okay, multiplication, then division, what we need to do at first, and I respect every order of operation, but according to PMDMC, we need to look at it in a perspective of a group. So it's not like multiplication is at first. We need to look at it in perspective of groups. So multiplication and division, this is one common group, okay? And now we need to scan where do we have multiplication and division sign. As you can, as I told before, right here we have all the time this division and, and multiplication sign, but which one is first? We need to divide it first or multiply it first? This is um, the most common uh, question all over the world. A lot of students discuss about it. But according to PMDMC, here is my correct answer. We need to look at it. What is the first sign from left to right? The first sign from left to right is this division. Doesn't matter. Division multiplication. In our case, this is division. So we need to start from this division. A divided by 4 equal to 2. And 2 times 4 equal to equal to 8, which is really obvious for us. So this is option option C. Maybe another option will be like uh, 8 divided by 8, which is equal to maybe like, uh, no, 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 8 divided by 16. Yeah, we have uh, 1 half. Yeah, we have this option. This may be according to another order of operation. Maybe mm, it has have place 
maybe it, this is correct, but I will solve it according to PMDMC. And I want to tell that the correct answer for me, from my perspective, this is option C. But this is up to you. All over the world, people solve it in different ways. So maybe one half is correct. But if you plug in this question in a like scientific graphing calculator, you will have option eight, okay? So option eight, maybe in the most like percentage for us, it will be correct answer, okay? But it has placed, maybe one half is a correct, but a correct answer for me, and if you plug it into scientific or graphing calculator, is eight. So it's really like uh, interesting notes for me, but this is up to you. Write your thoughts in the comment. What do you think about it? What do you think about this question? What do you think about this solution? I really appreciate it. And I wish you all the best right here. Here's my final rule, multiplication and division. This is before addition and subtraction. So we don't have addition, we, don't, we didn't have subtraction. We have division, we have multiplication from left to right, which one is first. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. I wish you all the best and see you in the next videos.